I'm gonna insert a picture of what my scalp was looking like. It was irritated in the back and she said it could potentially be psoriasis. But at some point, baby, that's not enough. You gotta wash your hair. <laughs> Hello, honey gang. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sharnice. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and join the honey gang, honey, okay? We are all about locks, lifestyle, vlogs, travel vlogs, all that good stuff over here. So, in today's video, you can tell by the title, <laughs> y'all, we finally getting a retwist. Like, finally, it's been two months, eight weeks y'all i can't even see can barely see my part anymore like look can you see my part only because i did that but yes you guys i'm gonna try to take you guys along with me to my um hair appointment um i haven't done that in a while um so we're gonna see y'all about to see this transform honey i'm going to include um a more like closer look at my locks and what they're looking like right now some things that i definitely experienced was um marrying like my locks are definitely like especially in the back are like trying to grow together they're definitely trying to grow together um something else new is argan oil i finally got me some argan oil and baby i love it it keeps the moisture because my hair be very very dry and um it gives it that shine that i like not too much but just right um yeah it brings my locks to life so i really really love that but in the meantime let's get to this appointment <laughs> which I said I was going to try um, getting my hair retwisted and not having her do a style anyway just because I do love my middle part and I love, I love <laughs> and I love having my hair down this time though I don't know if y'all can tell she did interlocking and that is a whole nother story whole nother situation that we are one, we are going to get into I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the final result. I absolutely love it. Like, yes, honey. It still has my volume, but it still looks neat. So, I definitely know now that I do not have to have a style, you know, after getting very twisted or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, well, yeah, in a lock because it is definitely two different things. But, yeah we we're gonna talk about it we're gonna get into it okay don't worry about it you can tell by the title that we are going to be talking about my seven month lock up day honey it has already been that long i cannot believe it but we are here honey and we are thriving and we are doing well if you have not already subscribed and joined the honey gang honey what are you waiting for what are you waiting on okay what are you waiting on Go ahead and click that button down below. Subscribe. Join the Honey Gang. Okay, we are all about locks over here. Lifestyle, vlogs, travel vlogs, all that goodness. Okay, so go ahead and join us. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my six-month um, update video and my six-month photos and visuals only video. That video was fire. I loved editing it. 
go ahead and check that out. It has a bomb playlist. Um, but yes, y'all, we are here. Seven months. Live in the flesh, honey. I kind of did this like vlog style so I could take you guys along with me um, on the journey of getting my hair retwisted. And let's talk about it. So I actually did not get my hair. Well, I don't know if you would say retwisted. I got it interlocked. And it's funny because my friend Natalie was just asking me about this um, and to make a video about it. And I ended up getting my locks interlocked. So as you're going to see while I'm talking, you're going to see like a close up of my locks. Um, but basically, she ended up interlocking them. Um, and I, I don't know if y'all can tell by the root that it's interlocked. It's basically just like crocheting your hair and weaving it within each other to make it tighter um because since i've started working out i sweat way more um and i i don't know about y'all but i sweat right in the middle of my head it is so annoying um and so with me not having a retwist for two months that kind of irritated my scalp and so she thinks that interlocking will be better so we're trying it out this time to see how it works um now people have their views on interlocking so y'all can let me know y'all's view down below check out queen and her crown <laughs> yes honey um so there's pros and cons to it um i kind of did a little research on it some people say it thins out your locks um some people say um that it doesn't help to necessarily lock um as quickly as a retwist um some people say it makes the um it makes it last longer um some people say that um like overall it makes your like as it's gonna grow out since it was interlocked here there may be thinning um as this grows out some people love interlocking some people don't um it's all in what you like your style your hair and your hair texture and how your hair locks honestly so it, it i don't think there's a you should never lock i mean interlock or you should never retwist or you should never palm roll you should never do this you should never do that because everybody's hair is different so i'm just sharing with you guys my experience my journey and my loctician suggested that we interlock my hair this time instead of just palm rolling retwisting um because it'll last longer and it'll help with um me working out and since i'll um sweat in the middle of my head so I will keep you guys updated with that. So far, I do love it. Um, I am liking it being interlocked because I do feel like it is going to last longer. I think my scalp is going to remain neater. Um, I do have the concern of my locks kind of thinning um, since, you know, it's just different. Interlocking is just different from palm rolling and retwisting. Um, but honestly, my hair is so thick that I just feel like it won't matter. <laughs> like, and that's just honestly how I feel about it. Y'all can tell me what y'all think down below and what y'all think interlocking will do to my locks. But I'm going to insert a picture of what my scalp was looking like. It was irritated in the back and she said it could potentially be psoriasis. So... I hope that is not the case. Um, I am getting some tea tree oil. You know, tea tree oil is really good for your scalp um, when it's irritated and, you know, helping with like itching and all that good stuff. And since I am sweating, I am working out more. Um, I definitely think that would be good to put into my routine as far as taking care of my locks. Um, I will say that... I won't necessarily try to go two months again. Um, and it ended up just working out because she was booked. Um, 
but I'm not going to try to go two months, eight weeks again on purpose. I'm going to just say that. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to go every four weeks either. So I'm literally just going to pay attention to my locks, schedule when they need um, to be done. And then also, I didn't even think about um, while I was on that two months of no retwist, I didn't wash my hair. And so all that sweating, um, you know, I was doing my daily like water, like moisturizing and stuff like that. But at some point, baby, that's not enough. You got to wash your hair. And so I was just so used to waiting on her to wash my hair that I didn't even think like, girl, you've gone two months and you had not washed your hair, you know, all that sweat and everything. So my scalp was definitely irritated. Um, so I definitely won't be doing that again, but like I said, y'all, we, it's a journey over here, okay? It's an experience, and I love sharing my experience with you guys. Y'all know y'all gonna get the real deal over here, okay? Um, so I definitely won't be doing that again. I don't feel comfortable washing my locks just because usually after you wash them, you retwist them so that they look, you know, decent or whatever, and I don't. Who retwists over here? <laughs> I don't. That may be something I may learn in the future. But for right now, I don't know. And I sure don't know how to interlock. Okay. So, um, even if I have to just go in for her to wash and maybe do like a little touch up or something in between time, whatever. We're going to make sure we do what we need to do. But I'm not going to go that long without washing my hair like ever again. Um... So, yes, I finally got me some argan oil. Happy about that. I have all my little, um, <laughs> all my little oils and stuff up here. And I also finally got me some rose water. Um, and it also has, like, apple cider vinegar, um, and other stuff in this. Also, that is just really, really good. And it's multi-use, so you can use it for different things. I found this at Marshall's for $6.99 and I absolutely love this for my locks um rose water y'all know is really really good for your locks and so it has that added um in there and I just absolutely love it um I think my locks are flourishing as y'all can see y'all remember in the front we had some issues and she ended up combining them well that worked out great because now all of my locks in the front are literally flourishing and I love it and I don't know if y'all can see like a close-up of that is what interlocking looks like you're basically like crocheting your hair into each other it's basically what it is so, if you guys want me to do a more in-depth um, video on interlocking and, like, pros and cons, I said a few. I definitely can do that. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing interlocking. I don't know if I'm going back to just regular retwist. I don't know. But so far, I love it. And this is my first time getting my hair done and it not being styled. And I absolutely love it. I love it. I am so happy. I'm so happy with it. I love it. And y'all know I love my middle part. I just love my little my middle part of me. And there's nothing wrong with that. Love your crown, honey. Love your crown. And I, I absolutely, absolutely love it. So, like I said, I will keep you guys up to date on this process. Um with interlocking working out and all of that and then if i need to go to a dermatologist to see if i do have psoriasis and all that other good stuff um i will do another in-depth video on that as well um but i definitely am going to be working tea tree oil into my routine so that i can be taking care of my scalp so anywho that is all i have for the seven months you guys hair is just flourishing doing so good i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much okay and y'all already know what i'm about to say please like comment and subscribe 
Okay, join me, honey gang. Join your girl. Leave all your comments, tips, tricks, your experiences. Leave all of that down below. I love when you guys comment. I love talking to you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.